Hi it's Courtney and in today's video I'm showing you how to do this snake emoji inspired face paint makeup. You are going to need a brown toned cream product to lay down the base of the makeup. Pull up some reference images of the underbelly scales of a snake and a scratch or skin injury so you can effectively lay a base shape down for the face paints using a nail art or eyeliner brush. Try not to be too neat when laying the base down as you want to seem like the snake skin is ripping up from below your skin. To create this snake skin face paint look, I'm using the Snazaroo Classic Face Paints in customised mixes as I only have the primary colours. Fill in the base shape of the makeup with the green toned mix. You do not have to be neat as remember this is just the base colour for the look and we will be adding shading, highlights and details later on. Add a small amount of black to that green mix to create a darker toned green. This is the colour that you will be using to map out the shape of the snake scales. Pull up your reference image and map out the central larger scales of the snake first. Once again there is no need to be neat as this is the base for the scales. Once you have added the central baseline for the scales, work from the top of your scratch base downwards creating smaller scale shapes that slightly overlap one another. This look will look messy at first however it will all come together as we work through the shading and highlighting. Use the same shade of green to begin to shade one side of each scale, this will begin to create depth and shadows within each individual scale. Drag the shadow shade towards the soon to be highlighted side of the scales so that when you add highlights later on they create a gradient effect between the dark and light shades. Take a very fine nail art or eyeliner brush using the Snazaroo Black Face Paint and carefully outline each individual scale. This is to add depth and texture to the scale shape so that they begin to look like individual scales rather than a mashup of different green tones. Take that same brush and pick up the dark green shade from earlier and create the same shadow effect on each scale. This time dragging the black shade from the outline into the dark green to create a black to dark green gradient effect on each scale. I added 
white to that first green shade which created this light green sage tone. Use this shade to detail the opposite side of each scale to the shadow area and create a highlighted effect. Take the Snazaru white face paint watered down and add this on top of that sage green tone that you place down on each scale. Drag that shade towards the shadow area to create a gradient effect between the highlight and shadows. Use this Nazaru black face paint on a very fine brush and once again outline every scale to add depth and shadow between the scales and to make each one stand out. Use that same brush and the black shade to underline the lower half of the scratch shape to create depth and shadow. I mix a snazzy red with a small amount of blue and black to create this dirty red tone to mimic irritated skin. Apply this around the outskirts of the entire scratch area. Be careful not to mix that red tone with the black outline of the snake area as the black will mix with the red and create a muddy effect. I made this mistake which is why the red tone areas of this look did not turn out as effective as I would have liked. If you wanted to incorporate a more special effect side to the look rather than solely face paints, you can splatter a small amount of fake blood onto the look to enhance the effect. However, I wanted to make this tutorial as beginner friendly and cost effective as I could by using as little products as possible. Apply the red snazaru face paint straight from the pan into the upper outline of the scratch area to increase the appearance of redness and irritation. And that's the final snake emoji inspired face paint tutorial. I hope that you find this video easy and enjoyable to follow and if you like the video please hit the like button. Remember to tag me in your recreations at CourtneyBeautyUK on Instagram, at CourtneyBeauty underscore on Twitter and hashtag CourtneyBeauty on all platforms. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!